Hi friends, so uh, today I'm working on my rigid R4512 table saw build that I started and this is supposed to attach to the stock rigid rails and I'm, I didn't mount the stock rigid rails, I mounted anchor rails. So what I need to do is enlarge these so that the bolts supplied with INCRA will fit through there. It's only a little bit bigger. And then what that'll do is allow me to assemble these like this and then that'll slide into these rails. So uh, it's a real minor modification but it will use hardware that came with the INCRA and it should work really well. So and unfortunately it's not very long so I have to kind of do this just handheld. And then I just wiggle the drill a little bit to get it to fit. Not quite, so wiggle a little bit more. And I'm just trying to enlarge the hole just a little bit to get this to fit through here. Yeah, that's not working, so I think it's time to go to the next size bigger drill. And it's too long, it's not long enough to, to fit, to reach the floor, but I'm gonna see if I can use this step stool. Yeah, that'll work. And then I can step on this, and you guys won't be able to see it, but you'll be able to hear it. Use. So I will start these and I'm using a washer and a bolt and then uh, I'm going to call this a T-nut. Oh man, gosh darn it. So this has to be done differently. This short cable is just killing me. So because this is short cable I have to slide these T-nuts in here over to approximately where they go and then I can start the bolts by hand one at a time. And this is just a pain in the ass. Once one's in here, the other is a little easier to deal with. Yeah, I felt like the other one was a little cross, so I'm just imagining how I would use this and where I want this and I think this is about where I want it. And the nice thing is I could slide this back and forth real easily. Uh, 
All right, so there you have it. At this point, I have the power switch mounted. So that gives me an easy way to just kick this off so I can turn it on. And then if I'm, I could just kick it with my knee. And that's why I wanted it in this exact spot is so I could kick it with my knee to shut it off. So um, that is how you mount the table saw power switch to the Incra fence system. You do have to do a little drilling of the power switch in order to get it mounted. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a video on turning around the um, casters that come with the saw because if you put them in the way that they tell you to, it leaves an unbalanced saw because the Incra system puts a lot of weight out there. So I'm going to turn it around and then it'll also make it easier to, to access the foot pedal from over here. Thanks for watching my video. Please check out my other videos on assembling the Incra fence system and assembling the Incra uh, router table.